So what would you say is the difference between religion and spirituality? Great question. Um, when I hear the word religion, to me, it means an approach towards knowing the divine, whatever that is to you, that is done through um, fall, uh, obeying or following of rituals and ordinances and rules and laws and things like that. So you could say religion is to know the divine by external means, by the correct behaviors, following the right uh, ritual, religious ceremonies, whatever. And spirituality to me means knowing the divine inwardly or pursuing knowledge of the divine inwardly. So it has to begin then with the acceptance that, all right, I am what I'm seeking. I am that source. It's within me. So that's the only place I'll find it. So I'm going to go inward to look for it and search for it. And so spirituality tends to follow practices that become more inward focused, like meditation, like contemplation, like self-inquiry. Um, so those are the two basic differences to me. Uh, sometimes I like to also classify it as the fundamentalist approach or the mystical approach. And mysticism basically des describes knowing God inwardly, whereas fundamentalism, again, is more like religion to know God by external means. Means. Okay. Um, you know, I actually wanted to share one story with you when I know your thoughts about it, because I think it kind of illustrates the difference between religion and spirituality, how religion is often dogmatic, you know, has all these boundaries and rules that can kind of, um, you know, make things the way they are. So, for example, you know, a couple of years ago, I was living in London, um, you know, in this big house with my sister, her, her boyfriend. And um, we actually had a new guy who joined us. Uh, we are renting a room to this new guy who is very religious. And he was actually, you know, coming from a Catholic background. And one thing, you know, he had a lot of issues with uh, anger and, you know, losing his temper quite often because like he was growing up uh, you know, his father was beating him up as a child and then he was doing boxing and getting himself in trouble. So he had a lot of kind of aggression, but deep inside he he had a good heart and he really wanted to change himself, you know. So w what he told me was that uh, this situation, you know, his issues with his um, anger actually caused him to lose his family you know his wife divorced him and he started praying to change himself you know he wanted to do something about it and he, so it's funny because he moves into my house where you know i've been meditating for eight years probably at that time and i felt like oh this is maybe i can help him to get into meditation because you know, it's going to calm him down a little bit. It's going to help him to detach also from, you know, reacting to situations. And also I had another friend who had a very similar story. He was also having issues as a child. You know, his father was beating him up, then he became aggressive, and then he got into meditation and started, you know, after a couple of years, he completely changed. So I felt like, okay, you, you know, this guy is like praying. He's getting me into his life who maybe can help him. But the funny thing is that his kind of religious views were so strong that he believed that, you know, anything to do with meditation, tarot cards, like all these things are in the same category. And according to his beliefs, these things are evil so he wouldn't yeah he wouldn't even want to listen about this stuff even when i tried to show him some scientific um you know um content about meditation because of what his religion kind of taught him so, so it's kind of funny you know you you have your religious 
you, your religion tells you, okay, pray to, to have your problems solved and prayers answered. But then when it comes, the religion stops you from getting, um, you know, them answered. Okay. I find it funny how religion tends to sort of be like a giant institutionalized ego. And all of, all of the things that religion doesn't want you to do are exactly all the things your own ego doesn't want you to do, such as sitting down and being quiet. You know, the mind doesn't want you to be quiet and be aware. It mm. wants to be absorbing you into its thoughts all the time. So it's like, you know, how, how funny is it to say that sitting down and being quiet is evil? It's like you do that every night for like eight hours. But 